Hi, it's Timo. Welcome to Norwich City Central. Hello everybody, Lewis, Norwich City Central. I hope you're all doing well. New video today and some exciting news. You know, everyone loves a bit of transfer news. And it's good to see Norwich City make a signing in which, you know, this guy could have potential to do really well at Norwich City. Um, Norwich City have signed Jacob Sorensen on an undisclosed fee. And in this video, we're going to be talking a little bit about what Jacob Sorensen will bring to Norwich City Football Club and will he be a success. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. And Norwich City are going for a dreadful run at the moment, aren't we? In our 118 year history, this is the worst run we've ever been on. Norris City, I think, are on course as well for their worst ever points finish. And that's, you know, you know, but back in the 50s, 60s, you'd only get two points for a win. So Norris City are in a horrible state at the moment, but it's nice to bring some positive news and it's nice to bring some transfer news. So let's talk about a bit, bit about Jacob Sorensen. And as I said, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below um, on Norris City's new signing. Jacob Sorensen, he's a midfielder, a central defensive midfielder and you look at Norris City, you look at Alex Tetty, you look at Melvin City and you look at Tom Tribal. These are all central defensive midfielders and we've got another one as well. That might possibly suggest the likes of Tom Tribal maybe off. But he's a youngster, 22 years old and he's played um, throughout his whole time at Denmark. So he started um, at the under 18s at Denmark and then went up to the under 20s and now he's at the under 21s. So this is a player who's gone through the Denmark ranks in, in terms of the youth system, which is always pleasing to see. And if you look at a lot of England talent who have kind of been going through the system up until the under 21s, they cost a lot of money. But when you go to, you know, countries like Denmark and then try and find, you know, the next big players, um, you know, they don't cost as money. So this stinks of a Stuart Webber signing. Um, of course, Stuart Webber has, you know, found some absolute gems and the likes of your Emmy Buendias and, and people like that. But for, for every Emmy Buendia and every Mario Rancic, you might have like a Marcel Franco or a Marley Watkins. But, um... As I said, this is the type of signing which seems like a low cost, but like a big reward because, you know, these type of youngsters can go on to have really good careers and have high, high, high values. But um, yeah, as I said, he's gone through the Danish system and um, he'll obviously be hoping to, to get to get a call up for the Denmark national team as well. And yeah, he's a central defensive midfielder. He's very similar to Tom Tribal when you look at his statistics. You know, he's a well-rounded central defensive midfielder, six foot tall, so he's not necessarily the biggest, but he looks like someone who could be quite mobile when you've kind of looked at him um, in terms of YouTube videos and what other people have said about him. He seems quite mobile. He seems, as I said, a bit like a Tom Tribal, someone who can get about the pitch. He's got a bit more physicality, um, I, I would say, than, I would say than Tom from, from what I've seen. Yeah, looks like a good sign. Looks like a good signing. And the question is whether he might be Norris City's, in Norris City's first team. You look at someone like Alex Tetty, who, you know, is getting on now 34, 35. He won't be a regular starter in, in the championship. And then you look at, you look at Tom, you look at Melvin and you look at Jacob and Jacob could really be, you know, an, a Norris City signing who who goes on and does big things. Um, the one, not necessarily weakness, I'd say about him, but in terms of his career, he has played a lot in the Danish league. And as we know, you know, the quality, the difference is, is probably big. You know, the Danish league isn't probably as good as the championship, although, you know, playing at the top tier of Denmark, he, he, he had a lot of experience against some good clubs. So you never know. But that's just the one thing which... Not necessarily a weakness, and a con, but the fact that he has played at the Danish league and is unproven in England, you know, it, it, it isn't always the best sign. But then, you know, on the other hand, you know, a lot, a lot of players come to England and flourish. So, yeah, I think I'm really I'm really excited by the signing of Jacob Sorensen. I think Norris City have needed some good news and he's a central defensive midfielder who who's young. Um, and there's a lot of potential and can play centre back as well. And uh, Norris City need as many players you can fill in at centre back. Although you probably like, you probably think Norris City in this transfer market that centre back um, is, a, is a number one priority. But overall, I'm happy with the signing. A lot of potential. Um, it's kind of a, a low risk, high reward situation. And yeah, he, he looks like someone who could have a good Norris City season. Um, hasn't hasn't got the best pedigree, but he's he's a youngster and he's someone I back and you know I still back Stuart Webber in the long term to to get the signings right. Although the short term signings in the Premier League have been poor. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Should Norris City have signed Jacob Sorensen? What positions do Norris City need to sign next? Let's get a discussion going in the in the comment section. And for now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.